Okay, welcome back. This lecture is the product lecture. This is for the junior seminar. And I don't know which, probably our seventh lecture of the process to synthesis lectures. I haven't actually counted them. Uh, and in the product lecture, I want to talk a little bit about why um, and where and when uh, focusing on product and on quality control, on um, on issues of craft, issues of polish and finish, when is it appropriate to focus on those things and why it's often necessary to. Like most of the, the bias of the class of the junior seminar is organized around getting students to think more about process than they would normally do. And in fact, I think generally most students at that age, um, when they'd be taking the junior seminar and at that stage would often be overly focused on product. But I think putting product in the right place in the right time is, is pretty important. So this lecture is kind of organized around a series of questions about why are things important, and then looking at various contemporary artists to maybe help, uh, and not entirely contemporary artists. There are a few 20th century artists thrown in there as well. So just to see if you're paying attention to your art history classes. And so series of questions, um, but also there's this overall organization where we're going to be talking about productivity, like we're going to be talking about the importance of just being productive, producing lots of work. And, and that's in some ways strongly related to process. We're going to be talking about production, like what does it mean to turn that productivity into a production series where you're making lots of things that are very similar whether it's a series or actually an addition or making, you know, exact, you know, uh, repetition of works like you would make would be making them for retail and why that's important, how that um, leads to a more clear sense of quality control and a more clear sense of what you want your product to actually be. And, but mostly this lecture is going to be focusing on just that issue of when do you focus on product? And also we're going to be talking a little bit about presentation and display and how that is also a major part of this focus on product. So, like I said, most of the class has been focused on process and on the relationship between process and concept and why you shouldn't just start with concept, but you should it should be a back and forth dialogue between your process and your concept for you to figure out what you're doing and why you're doing it and what you want to say with what you're doing. But I think at a certain stage of any kind of you know, set process, at a certain stage, it is important to focus on product. Um, so in a particular class, let's say you were taking advanced painting, I think uh, for the first part of the class, it would be very important to focus on process and concept. But towards the last three or four weeks, it really is important to kind of focus on the idea of, all right, I'm going to be making another body of work, my final body of work in this class, and really trying to make them a consistent product, really have a clear sense of what it is you want to achieve as an actual physical object, and in terms of your quality, your quality control. Um, and so why is that? Well, I have a couple of thoughts on that, why it is important. And, and here are some examples. You know, when we think about Duchamp, we tend to think of him as a very conceptual type artist and a very kind of a precursor to postmodernism. So he thinks a lot like a postmodernist artist. So it's it's in the idea and in the play and, and the, the play between the ideas where the strength of the work lies. And yet, in many of his works, especially this body of work, these kind of art in a box or art in a suitcase um, body work that he made, he put a huge amount of emphasis on quality control and in very precise, impeccable craft in fact, he hired another artist to work with him. He hired Joseph Cornell to help him make these boxes so that they would be precious, perfect little um, objects for him to express this idea. And I think that shows you to a degree kind of an understanding about there's a certain authority that comes with really carefully controlled product and quality control and carefully controlled craft and finish. And so this work that he's making that is kind of playing with people's ideas of what is art, he realizes he can make that argument more successfully by making the actual object that is created as carefully 
um, produced as possible. I think you see a very similar kind of thought um, in someone like Donald Judd, who's making work that's very minimal and really kind of pushes the boundaries of like, is this sculpture or is it not sculpture? Is it a work, you know, is it, um, does it fit into the category of painting? Is it a work of art, especially like these plywood pieces where he's using material that is not at all, you know, high quality material, um, is, you know, everyday construction material. But then the craft by which he puts it together is so precise that it's, um, it, it forces you to consider the, the thought and the care of the, of the object, uh, really uh, take it really seriously. Um, and I definitely think that creates what I would call authority for the work. So why is productivity so important? Um, so I think making lots of work, and we've talked about this when we were talking about concept or, or talking about process in general, but making lots of work is just one of the most important ways that an artist can get better at making their work. And it forces them to be in the studio regularly, to be making work regularly, and to just that kind of consistency of effort and consistency of hours can play a huge part in, in someone's success. And I think I, I'm using here an example of uh, production pottery as a, um, as a metaphor for what I think all artists should apply to their studio. But you can see this kind of thinking in someone like Gerhard Richter, who makes lots of works where he makes them in a series, makes 50 of a thing, all very similar to each other with a lot of quality control. Uh, and he's trying to uh, just get this idea as clearly worked out as possible. So why is production so important? Well, similarly, I think what, by having kind of a clear idea of what it is you want to do and then s setting for yourself the goal of making, whether a, you know, a body of work, uh, whether it's a series of 10 paintings or um, an addition series of photographs or an addition series of, um, of prints or an addition series of, of works on paper, like handmade works, by, or, and by making a number of them that are all very consistently the same kind of product, the same thing going in, in the same direction. And that you're, what you're doing is you're controlling your quality and getting a very clear sense of what is the product you want to make. So I think um, the, you know, the fact that uh, Andy Warhol called his studio the factory uh, says a lot about how thinking about your artist production, kind of like factory production, can really help you to, to make sure that what you're making is the, you know, the best work you could make. I also have some examples of contemporary artists who collaborate with product designers like bags in this case and once again i think it's kind of important to think about how these artists are they bring this aesthetic of kind of like of retail production right of making something to be consistently the same product all the time they bring that to their work as well as to the things they do as products um, so focusing on product which is the heart of the lecture so I want to look at a number of contemporary artists who I think when you see their work under seeing their, their focus on the high level of craft and, and production is a really important part of understanding why their work is successful. Um, I think with someone like Jeff Koons, he's always trying to find kind of imagery as well as form ideas that could be easily um, dismissed. Uh, that are so on the verge of kitsch and ridiculousness that um, they're almost buffoonish. But then one of the things that keeps reminding, oh, that's about, we're all, we're, that's my nine minute warning. I'll just say, so two things that I think in his work really keep reminding people that he's doing this seriously and that they should take it seriously is scale, but also consistency of production that they are made with such impeccable craft. All right, we're going to end there. I'll get back, talk about more about Jeff Koons in a second.